Hi everyone, are you ready? I'm ready. This is Raja. I'm Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Rumble! While we're waiting for season eight to start up, we are gonna get back to tuning and booting looks from the queens that were brave enough to post their photos on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, MySpace if they still have it, Tinder, Christian Mingle. We will let you have it. Yes, I hope that most of you follow these girls on Instagram. Let's What's your Instagram? Mine is at Sutan Amrol, which is my actual birth name. What is yours? Mine is non-existent. I don't have one. Oh. Oh, darn it. And we have our first girl, ladies and gentlemen. It is Yara Sofia. God, she looks fucking hot. You know what, Yara always looks so beautiful. She's got like a just perfect little body and her makeup's always really tight and perfect. And she's cute. She's got like personality for fucking days. Yes. And she looks sexy. Very, very sexy. Like very a prowling sexy. prowling cat. Like a praying animal. <laughs> yes, I give this a rare two. I give it a two as well. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love animal print. I love the little shoulder piece, the chains, mm -hmm. the earrings, all of it. Yep. Toot. Follow Yara now. Yara Sofia. Next, we have Milk. Ooh, that's a different look for Milk. Milk is giving us well, cellophane dream. It's like aqua, yeah, and then um, that and then like cellophane, cellophane, and then a little like, backpack and some hair. Some, it's, um, it's a look, definitely. I can't say anything bad about it. I like it. I think it really is a throwback to what you know, club kids and what milk does. Because I You're like strange. the way his nuts are nestled in his bodysuit. Where would you like those nuts nestled? Um, in your in mouth. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I've seen Milk do some other looks that I actually like, and yeah. so uh, for me, this one is a boot. Uh, it's uh, yeah. It took us a while to try to come up with something, so that must mean it's a fucking boot. Okay, yeah. sorry, Milk boot. It's a boot. Bye. Oh, look at Manila lose on. She is getting ready to leave, or mm -hmm. she just got home. She's in front of her apartment building, mm -hmm. and. Uh, the family downstairs is yelling because she's posing and taking <laughs> photos. And she said, fuck you, bitch. I'm taking pictures in my white. Well. And silver. I love what is happening on the legs. Those, the boots, what are those? They're like some crazy gladiator things. Those are hot. I love Manila. Of course I love her. But I also saw a fucking fierce ass outfit. And I tooted. I, you know what? I give it a two as well mm -hmm. because very, very rarely do you see queens that can pull off all white and it looks exceptional. Mm. This is an exceptional white look. Yeah. I love it. She also looks like she's about to propel a fart out of her ass. She's at like one of those uh, those gay resorts in Palm Springs. She likes And those. she's actually, there's nothing behind that. Her hole's actually open. It's all ready. And she's letting and them like know. there's a crowd of people underneath. Yas. Yas. Our next lady is, ooh, Latrice Royale. Mm. In azure. Now this looks like it's gonna be a reveal. This drape on her, kind of like a gonna, sari effect. Yes, yes. And it's gonna come and it's gonna come off. Mm -hmm. And it, Latrice always has that big, beautiful hair. Mm -hmm. She gives me um, Mabel King, who was the mom on a TV show in the 1970s called What's Happening. And Mabel King was a beautiful, buxom lady. It almost looks like she's walking onto a red carpet or oh, she's going yeah. to some sort of an event. Mm -hmm. So she looks very classy. She looks very much of the moment. Mm -hmm. So maybe when she gets into the venue, she takes that off. I don't know. And it's a two. Her tits two. fall out and she's got pasties on. Oh, yes. And I give her a two. I love it. I give it I a two, but I want to see what's under it. I want to see what comes off. All right, next we have... Double Trouble. Double Trouble. We've got Trixie Mattel and Alaska. And they look like they're dressed alike. Is it a pajama party? It looks like a pajama party. Um, or do you say pajamas or pajamas? I say pajamas. I say pajamas. They're in their, they're in their PJs. Uh, the J is silent. It's Bahama. Bahama? I like the way they Bahama when I go to sleep. Bahama Mamas. And, and they their... look like they're going to have a pillow fight. They look like... 
to like a dirty pillow fight. Ooh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very Valley of the Dolls. Mm -hmm. Is it the filter in the photography, or is Trixie Mattel's face terrifying me right now? Because if that was sitting in the corner of my room, like in the middle of the <laughs> night, rocking on a chair, I would lose it. There he is. Did you hear uh, about that little in Portland, Oregon? There was a little girl who was being babysat. You would love this. She was being babysat. I also heard about girl. this. Yeah, she was being babysat. And every night for like three nights in a row, the babysitter would, you know, was would always have to run up to the room and see why the little girl was crying and screaming. Apparently the little girl was crying because she said that there was a clown doll in the room that was terrifying her. And the babysitter's like, it's just a clown doll. Like, calm down, it's in the corner. It turns out that the clown doll was a real fucking person. Yeah, because she told the mom, the mom said, we don't have a clown doll. And there was just a little man in there dressed as a clown. It was Trixie Mattel. <laughs> <laughs> I love Trixie's hair. Yeah. I See, the thing is, I love the way Trixie paints because Trixie looks like a complete different person in and out of drag. Yeah. And I realize that it's a little jarring at first, mm -hmm. but that's her shtick, that's her thing. She does, She's not trying to look like a real woman. So it's fun. Yeah. And then Alaska, you know, she's known for wearing just like the straight wig with like, like a, just a- A thing. On top. Yeah, a thing, a loaf. <laughs> I think they look really happy. They're well, they're bad. probably happy because they're wearing something flouncy that they don't have to pad. So why wouldn't you be smiling? Anytime in my, I'm in my pajamas, I feel very good. <laughs> so, two to both of those ladies. Two, two. Mm, it's like a safe two. They're cute. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's, yeah. it's, it's a safe two. Two toots. Loves you. Make sure you follow all of these girls on all their social media. And oh. now we're gonna be back to the fan submissions for a little bit. Here. So we have a, a fan submission here and the young lady's name is Andrea Amante. Andrea Amante says, hello. I would like to submit my picture for Raja and Raven on Fashion Photo Review. I'm a, f I'm a huge fan of drag, race, and fashion photo review and would like Raja and Raven's opinion on my costume or Delta or Morgan or whoever's on the show that week. Because um, <laughs> sometimes you never know. I'm a real lady. Biological. Mm. Okay, I'm a real lady, but I made this costume myself and would like to know if they toot or boot. Thanks, love you, bye. Okay, well first of all, you gotta give it up to a bitch who makes her own shit. Yeah, I love it. She is giving me gothic, kind of like a poison ivy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love it. I love her use of the leaves. I just wish the skirt was a little shorter. If the skirt was a little shorter, it'd make her look so much taller. Like more tutu effect. So you see yeah. a little more thigh space. Uh, uh. Um, and I would have probably maybe changed out the lace with something green, dark, maybe black, um, instead of just the white lace down. But I actually really like this. I like it too. And it kind of reminds me of the uh, costume I made for the Absolute commercial. Mm. I was the uh, wild tea. But all in all, it's a two. It's a two. We Amante. We love you, Andrea Amante. Thank you so much for your submission. We give you a two. We love you. Keep them all coming in. Are we? Is this the last time we're doing this? I know we're gonna do this a couple More of times. submissions? Yeah. Oh, okay. We're gonna keep this going. Yes. Yeah, mm, 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 mm. Our, Our top, top two of the week is, is Yara, Yara, Sophia. Sophia. Yara, Yara, you Yara, looking Yara. so fierce. It's Yara, Sophia. Yara, Sophia. Yes, Ra Sophia. Trend alert. Pales and pastels. Light colors. Lavender, peach, mm. pink. Pistachio. Two in the pink. Baby blue. <laughs> oh, it's so weird. What? Is, what? Uh, it's always like the last one of the day <laughs> where my like, wig fall. does not want to stay. Anyway. Don't forget, if you want us to tutor boot your photo, send it over to World of Wonder Facebook, hashtag fashion photo review. Don't, Don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents. See ya. Fuck out of here.